Welcome everybody to the Monday, January 30th meeting of joint meeting of the Donnelly Select Board and Donnelly Finance Committee. Although I know that the Finance Committee does not have a quorum. Okay. So I'll call the meeting to order. Um, first item on the agenda is vote to approve the minutes of January 17th, 2023. Um, I'm going to make a motion to approve the minutes with, with an. Uh, with uh, the, a correction to the amount um, in, in our motion that was made by Erica Goldman, seconded by Philip Canner, to apply to the Community Preservation Committee for the, the amount that we did in our motion was $3,817.11 for Conway's portion of the Frontier Track expenses. Um, at the recreational expense, see can see can run back willing. Um, but that amount was incorrect. We did say that it was an estimate. But the correct amount is two thousand five hundred eighty-five dollars and seventy-nine cents. A much better number. I make motion that we approve the minutes with the amendment that um, Phil just suggested. Again. All in favor? Aye. Uh, it's unanimous. And uh, okay, we, there's three warrants that I went through. The accounts payable warrant, the amount of $61,449.75. The payroll warrant, the amount of $122,355.40. Payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $30,007.07. I didn't have any questions about it. Yeah. I'm going to approve the warrants as read. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings attended by select board members. Chris. Uh, I met earlier today with Ron and Bernie to go over the first initial discussion on the capital improvement budget for the highway department. Not for me. Wait, I had a. Uh, I had a lot of meetings, frontier, frontier budget meetings, about uh, meetings with Ronnie. I don't know. What are, we had a lot of meetings. <laughs> Lots of meetings, daily meetings. <laughs> Too many meetings. Any public comments? Any public out there? Unbusiness business, no. Um, skip the joint meeting with the finance until one other person shows up. Uh, New business. Um, your DLTA grant offerings, top two. Actually, since Ron's here, we can do the highway thing first. Um, the department requests that the select board sign off on Chapter 90 and WRAP program reimbursement. Um, and then you're also up in the next two items after that. Okay, so, the RAP program, winter recovery assistance program, we spent $213,000 for the reimbursement. Well, New Hall, New Hall Cross, two hundred dollars in the entire administration. Take over the sign. You know, they're in business. The work's already complete. All right, so um, you know, this is we do this every year. There's nothing to do this. Usually, all the signatures aren't here, so we just bring another game. Yes, usually Michael's signature. Sure. So, uh, then we can approve this. I'll second. Favor? Aye. Um, that's why I didn't 
All right, and also, so the discussion and vote to sign the contract with GZA. Oh, sorry, was that, there's two more chapter yeah. 90s, right? Oh, one, yeah. one. Oh. All right. Yeah, yeah that's cool. oh. uh, Project that we did on some volunteer payment for the government ball for we have the Mm -hmm. So this is just this would just be funds, not town funds. They're already been spent. Mm -hmm. So Bill, what does that mean when the, the total amount of the payment is higher than the hundred percent reimbursement rate? That means it's probably a mistake. Yeah, that you're the first person to catch. So I'm glad you looked at. Mm -hmm. so. But we're on right now. Oh, yeah. The payment is is higher than what the. 100% reimbursement of the same. So you have to keep the review of the thing. Is that the same there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Yes, it's correct. Okay, something might be going a little strange here to presume. And what, sorry, I'm just wondering why I haven't seen anybody pop up in the waiting room. And I'm wondering if something. Do we still have a farm? You know, we don't. And I just got this thing that Janet Chase has joined, but I don't see her anywhere here. Keep going, and I'll just. So uh, the next next one, Ron, you're still here. Um, the discussion and a vote about the GZA consultants for the FEMA free hazard mitigation grant for Delavar Avenue project, which is that's got to be the oldest. What, what has to be 2014? What did you do? It took a long time to get approved for it, and then they went back and forth on the because we hired an engineer to do. The initial stuff for the um, designing for to, to apply for the grant. And then we had issues with the FEMA saying that we couldn't use it. And they had already done all the work. So this is most of all the design. And to me, it was paid the money to do the design work. And, Probably wouldn't take up a lot more to continue instead of having some of stack in the beginning. So that this contract is for the total contract is 22,000. Mm -hmm. $22,800. For now, we just need to, to get things rolling with the engineers. It's the first two items which is broken down into different um, categories. Pass. 
certainly is a construction document, which is actually finishing the plans for the period of the wetland review. And then the wetlands notice of intent, which is like kind of a big dollar on it. The construction documents are $4,500. And the um, wetland notice of intent is six and seven. Uh, we have in the what left the money left in the um for the Delaware Delaware project from original was sixty six hundred dollars. What we have left is six thousand one hundred and seventy five. So we somewhere we need to find the rest of them. Right. Yeah, that was Veronique's idea. Um, we had discussed that sort of the ARPA, the, the ARPA bank was closed. That the ARPA bank is reserved. Well, the is, board hasn't voted on that. Right, so. but we yeah. discussed it last time we voted on an ARPA expenditure. That like the, the, the public safety building and then this building are going to consume all of the ARPA. We need that to get how many projects possibility of town meeting voting for these projects. We need that argument. Um, to lower the amount that town would pay. So um, like, I, I know this has to get this is if you say no to this now. Well we have to fund it. We right. have to find the money somewhere. But that's um, no more ARPA for anybody with this. So we so we've already paid the centenary company some money to they've yes, done some work already. Thirty eight thousand dollars. Okay, so they've done preliminary engineering work. Was the GZA did the answer? Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not a big fan of GZA because we had a bad experience the last time we used this town used them in our MVP for our MVP grant there. And the reason why our grant got denied their failure to read the instructions for the grant um and and they and you know to talk to them about it it was you know they're they're pointing the finger at either one employee was pointing the finger at the other and for that um but they said charge us 2400 for it no this it was a different it was a different thing altogether and it wasn't the engineer it wasn't the engineering people it was the land use people um but they messed up and now we're waiting we did Took a whole year. Yeah. Oh, do we have a grant for this work though? Um this, so this 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 is a FEMA grant because it was from it was hurricane damage, right? It was plugged into no, no. it was after hurricane damage. Yeah. Um yes, we do have a, a FEMA grant that's been approved. Um but the way things have worked, the engineering would be a, um, we'd have to start over with the engineering with FEMA to get reimbursed for. So, so we're already way behind where we've had the grant for a year and a half now, and nothing's been done so far because we've been going back and forth with FEMA over the engineering department. Um, so we've already we paid them thirty eight thousand dollars for engineering already. So so what is this additional? It's, it's, that was for the design. Okay, that's why I'm looking at number five there. Grant administrative assistance twenty four hundred. Yeah. So what's that get us? A bunch of people looking at well, each other. So actually, we're not doing that at this point. At this point, what we're funding is numbers one and two that you're looking at. Okay. 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 Um, and that's why to get the project more than um, eleven thousand two hundred minus the six something that he had equals the five thousand for the they asked for the part of it. Probably the bid phase won't happen because because of the way the money's it's been so long since we started. We probably not going to be able to afford to put it out to bid and have a construction company actually do the work because they're looking to do enough money based on five years ago. Yeah. So what well, we're planning on doing is the highway department doing the work 
in the green verse when you look at the green. So the materials in the back on the green and I mean so the big things probably won't we won't need that because the green is jet bid to our normal usually bid with third color. Um, and then the other is actually is uh just an estimate of what it's going to take to do the um construction based services and stuff and then probably well, it's done by an hourly rate, which is in the contract here. Um, so, more than likely, it won't reach that number of anyway. The hourly rate is pretty good. <laughs> hourly rate is 223 <laughs> per hour. <laughs> Let's hope for that one in the directions this time around, you know. Um, so, so what is left in our archive then? The yeah, 400 and something thousand. Pages. You have the spreadsheet in the packet, but it is as of today $406,300 and 59 cents. Would be a percent. Well, where else would, I mean, it seems like this work needs to be done. Where else would the money come if we didn't send it out of our I mean, out of the highway budget? Or? Yeah, I don't know, honestly, where else this would come from. But see, the problem that has happened for us was that he wouldn't allow us to use EZA as match. It's just the whole federal procurement is really. Um, so, but we do have to do, so we can't use the, FEMA monies to pay GCA. And that just sort of showed up in the last year so that that wasn't going to pull out. So now we're trying to figure out we're going to get the rest of the money to finish that part. And even when we spend this money, we can't use it as match for the grant. So um, I have a little bit in grant match and administration, but not a huge amount. So we might be able to take some out of there. But if we need to get to the 20,000, we're still looking at another 15,000 and even 15,000 and that budget. Yeah, the other thing would be good. We could, but I didn't want to delay us too much because we've already just gotten an extension. Well, if we get the first two ways. Exactly, so yeah. We can, exactly. we can put it as an article. And not yeah. get right. farther behind. Exactly, that. yeah. Because we have, the project has to be finished. We got an extension that has to be done by September 20th. So this is one that we're just supposed to sign. So we can get a motion. I mean, sign. Um, so I move that we appropriate five thousand and twenty-five dollars to complete the first two tests on the GPA and authorize Bill to sign the contract. To sign the contract with that money. I am embarrassed to say this, but I'm not quite sure what's happened with. Uh, so this is my computer. I logged in tonight through the VPN to try to be able to share stuff. The computer crashed on me and it left me as the host. So then I logged in again, and now Janet Shays has been telling me she's been trying to get in here for 15 minutes, but it's not showing up on this. So I'm wondering if I should just close this out and restart all over again. I just didn't want to, because I don't know if somebody else from finance I is know, trying I to. I haven't, I haven't okay. heard anything from anybody. All right. Reaching out. So, so, boy, the question is. One, two. Oh, sorry. Share screen. Mm -hmm. And then just click on this. Okay. And share. There you go. Yeah. 
So Dose right. of daily humiliation. That's all. It's just a regular yeah. day, regular day of the office. Well, Alan can call the finance committee meeting to order, right? Yes. I think that's the next step. Yes, we call the finance committee to order. Let me select the word. Um, just kind of walking off work in the crowd. Looking for trees. Do you know what dogs do? Yeah. Um, Want to flip a coin and see who goes first? No, you got the things up there. All right, let's see who it is then. Uh, so I'll start. Looks like the total requested is like $2,000 more than last year, which is not much. And I'm just trying to figure it's, out. Uh, 17 to Okay, so it's. Yep. Basic, the biggest one is the increase in the salt. Mm -hmm. um, you got a deal from a company saying they are now are doing the maintenance of the router for the CGIS terminals that the state used to do. The state is apparently farming out, so now private companies are doing the work and we're getting the bills. There is a slim chance it won't be that high because uh, the state may pick up a portion of our software records management system. Um, and we're picking up 50%, but they still haven't given the final bill for uh, fiscal year 22 yet. So it's only a guess as to what fiscal year 23 is. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fun with that one, and then adding the second one. There's five hundred dollars there is vehicle maintenance, you know, over last year, so we want to have five hundred dollars. Uniforms you never, you never used the whole. So when. Yeah, um, I don't know what's going to happen next year. And you, you know, going to need at least one new uniform. Less, what well, we could just try the same size as you. Yeah, same the, money. Could have put that on. Yeah, yeah put that in the job description. <laughs> yeah. Part of the criteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, that's very nice. Yes, that's that's good. Yeah, last, last last year included the no that was the that was the capital request for the early signage for the yeah. I still get emails almost every day about roadside vendors wanting to see if we're interested in the roadside. Yeah. <laughs> we're waiting on right now. Yeah, I always, it's always like the least painful, one of the least painful departments every year. Yeah. We do one of the many things on this side. Success is unlikely to be as budgetarily disciplined. Never know, though. Yeah, it would be under the sun, the 40% budget standard. Fiscally conservative. Well, given our growth, it's good. Thank you. Yeah, it's our one point nine percent. We are this year. It is our growth. This is just inflation. Yeah. 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 We'll go on it for a long time from now. All right. All right. Thanks. 
What happened? We told him we're cutting his budget by 50%. And I said, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, we're still recording, right? And I'm good. Yeah, it's still telling me that host has another meeting in progress. I know, I know. And so the only thing I could do is said, when I went over, I said, you have another, end this one. And I was like, well, if I end that, then I'm just, you know. Yeah. We did have, I don't know if it's still up there, but we used to put on the agenda, the meeting will still go on, if, even if Zoom fails. Yeah. Um, the state ball anyway. So, you know, you've got a quorum. Yeah. But Janet does. I do apologize about that. She said she's available by phone. The finance committee members as far as I'm a commercial. <laughs> so are we doing fire? fire. We just, yeah, we just did police. You do police in the upper so this is fire, right? Yeah, that's fire. Why not we have a you see some changes in the fire budget this year compared to what was last year. It's just a different, most of them get a different categorization of different mm -hmm. items. Um, start with the deputy chief, two deputy chiefs, and the deputy force warden. That force warden should be deputy, not just state force because I'm the force warden. Um, their pay, pay was just automatic. automatically taken out of the uh, Salary one. Labor, I'll take labor one. Should be. Top one's just chief stipend. Clerical. I'm going to get back into having a secretary one hour a week again. Is that ten thousand? I mean, one thousand forty dollars. And early suggested that the rate be set at one hour a week, fifty two weeks. And um. Sorry to interrupt, but that is also, I'm going to be requesting that we just put that in my 150 budget because it's the least of one hour a week. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Right now we have to do it in two different departments, but it, to me, it just makes sense to roll that all into that position mm -hmm. and just to put that into the, the assistant to the committees and boards. Mm -hmm. So that would be coming out. <laughs> one or the other, I think mean, that should be the lead in the Right, well, I have a note down the bottom. All right. But oh, which you can't see. <laughs> well, it's on your it's on your hard copy. Yeah, that lowers the labor rate down to twenty nine five seventy three. That forty one seven seventy four of that gets changed at be one thousand forty dollars less. The rest of the budget. Uh, 3700 I went up a little bit on the radio fees. You can see I've expended $3,169 so far. That's anticipation of I have another $500 anticipation that the county radio system is going to go up. They're always very late in the estimates coming in. The, the want list. And um, so I just threw another 500 and maybe less than that. Then please guess. Everything of FERCOG is going up more than it should be this year. Everything. Four, five, six percent, everything. The um, new state of city fire training, fire prevention training uh, category. I put a question mark inside of it because I want to. That's basically the, the money that's spent at the grammar school for the grammar school children by prevention. Festivities. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I'm going to try to start doing something this year with seniors. I don't know what it is yet. I want to meet with them first and see if they have any uh, any great ideas of what they might want to see. Mm -hmm. but I don't have a figure for that yet, so I'm not going to answer a figure. Mm -hmm. The overall year budget request is less this year than it was last year. No. 
Yeah, your radio fees here have been 3700, but they've been budgeted 7100 each of the last three years. Yeah, so they went down. They went down. Yeah, well, that was their estimate they gave us three years ago in mm -hmm. writing, but it mm -hmm. wouldn't be that high, and they came in low. Okay, those are unforeseen figures that we just have to deal with because it's set strong enough. Yeah. Well, you're 48% on track. It's pretty much on track to go to year to achieve one. The other thing I want to have you look at is down the one saw I call turnout gear. Yeah. Last year, $6,400 due to inflation. That was for two sets of turnout gear. Due to inflation, we had to bump that up to $8,000. That's what it is now. Two sets of gear. We try to replace two sets every year. Mm -hmm. How many sets we have? Well, <laughs> we've got quite a whole new set because our population is decreasing. As you probably well look at the leaders there around the county, I think we're down a lot, down to about 18 now from 26. Mm -hmm. So, actually active, and what I mean, real active, every week active is down like 9 to 11. Mm -hmm. So, it's Way of the law. I mean, a lot of people have dedicated themselves. With you. And I think every town in the Commonwealth is going to see that coming. Mm -hmm. There are some towns very close to us, the numbers are in way single numbers at the most. We're probably still lucky with that amount of Russia. Mm -hmm. well, I have a somewhat related question about that is a couple of Saturdays ago, we were in the Conway, England, Finland House, and we showed up also where. And squad car from South Airfield and also Conway, South uh, County, EMS. Did we get a, ever get a bill? How did that work? Which way was squad car from South Airfield? Yeah, Fairfield Police Squad car. Oh, yeah. Did we get was a bill? Did you have landed town from? No, anybody here? I put in. I don't know. Maybe they have a standard policy down here in Devon now when you call for him, but they have that. Might have been the nature of the call, too. Mm -hmm. uh, some natures of some calls are more serious than others. Mm -hmm. So it could be questionable that they could become serious. Mm -hmm. and that's probably why they had the backup. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From that, uh, well, they they are they this one because a couple of years ago you showed up to a fire down in Stillwater Road for your question. Exactly. Yeah, we have a question. Yeah, yeah. 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 South County wants us to be a minute a full minute. Oh, yeah, sure, they would. Is and the, the cost is oh, yeah, well, it's 285,000 to start. Wow. We finally got a four wheel drive agent. That's that wasn't your guy's problem. That's what you wanted. That was like six years ago when you started it. Well, it's the same thing. We're really regionalization of fire. You know, there's some towns that are pushing for regionalization of fire because they've got a bigger town. They go more quicker. If you look at data, they're down to the cities. Come out to the country, tell us. How soon you're going to get here? Say it was from South Hill. Original edition was in South Hill. Right. Take, see how long it takes to get these skinny road and snow and ice and sleep. Yeah. 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 I just would like to let you know, people know that we have finally completed the purchase of that new uh, years. Pick up oh, oh, it's, it's out there right now. You probably haven't seen it in the daytime. You just get back and come and get, get back to your day. It's not having the letters. Yeah. It's very identical. It's a Bible says Conway Fire and Rescue. So it's an outfit and all that. An outfit and everything. The only thing I've got ordered still is a panel cover to cover the back bottom. That's coming in this next week. But everything else has been completed. Everybody says, I didn't know we bought a brand new truck. I think we didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks it. That does look because it's three, only two years old. Yeah. Like 10,000 miles. Yeah. 
we were very fortunate to get into that place. I did just want to point out too that um that there's only one capital request coming from the fire department, right? For this year. I don't know if you've already thought about that. No, no. So it's just for the it's the hundred thousand that we're putting away every year into the new stabilization. Right. Well, I still have a question. Fire truck, they let you purchase in 2028 or 2028. What would you see that being stored if you have to clean it out? It takes the place where one is there. Okay. It's not an addition, it's a replacement. So, what did you see it saying? The bolts are working and fit inside. You can build them and store them. Where? Yeah. Right, the same baby, the alarm's going to be replaced. We had it on still, and it's kind of a little crutch of my. By but nothing we can do about it yet. Those garage doors have got to be raised in height, and they're probably never going to. So we have to have a fire truck built to squat down to get it in the door. And you pay extra for them. Once we get a third bay, uh, hopefully sometime within next year, and getting there, and slowly getting in, yeah. very slowly. Slowly is right. Um, we won't have to worry about the length of it. The fast truck we purchased, we had to worry about shrinking the length of it down and the height of it down to get it to it. So it had to fit a certain spot. Yeah. Once we have the third bay, the main pumpers will each have the whole bay of the drum. So we can actually get it a little bigger, a little longer, and maybe have a little more compartment space. We badly need a compartment space. If you get the truck in 2029, 20, we might have that ready by then. Thank you. Other than that, thanks. Good evening. Thank you. So I guess the question is how you want to proceed now. There's um you all have in your packet the ones, the budgets that have actually changed from last year. Mm -hmm. There's a you know a lot that I have listed there that have not. So we could just look at them real quick if we want to just put your eyes on them or okay. So uh hopefully everybody can see the one for the moderator. Um just put in the same request here, please type in. Questions on that one? This is another special town meeting, but a doc. <laughs> and then this is the finance committee. Oh my <laughs> uh, I just put in level funded, so you all can let us know if that's correct. If they dang to go west of 495, I can actually put it down. <laughs> okay, so the next one is audit. Excuse me. And that's the first one you have in your packet. So we had a, it was kind of like a six year contract or letter. So every other year, um, and it was an audit. And we, I think the first year was like 16.5, then it was 15,000, then it was 15,000. We just had our last audit for 2022. So we're going to need to start saving up for the next audit. Um, I've asked for a couple of quotes because sometimes it's good to just change auditors and we've had the same one for quite a while. We have absolutely no issues with the current auditor, like him a lot, um, but nobody's given me a quote yet. So, and our current auditor wants to wait until they sent in their management letter for scanning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then so they're supposed to be sending me a quote as well. So I just basically took the fifteen thousand and added a happy percentage and cut it in half. <laughs> so then I just put in the ten grand as just a holding mm -hmm. for that. So the odds happen every two years. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Okay. That's been the current practice, and we can talk about changing it if you want. But mm -hmm. um, you know. The only thing that would make it a requirement that we change things up would be um, either either what kind of lending uh, borrowing we do, or also if we spend too much 
um, federal monies in one year. Mm -hmm. and then sure, yeah. It triggers the single right. audit. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what's the next one on here. Right. Open space. And I can call Janet. Anybody call her. You want me to call her? Go ahead. <laughs> call her whatever you want to call her. All right. So you do have questions for her, right? Since I'm calling her. We might. We don't. Well, it's to say they're not asking for anything different. So it's up to you. Uh, but... So it's the same amount. And they've had 3,100 for the last four years. So. Yeah, hold it. Hi, it's Verity. Uh, hi, I'm sorry about all the trouble here, but they do have a couple of questions for you. Can I put you on speaker here? Okay, all right, hang on a second. All right, so hopefully everybody can hear. Bill, you got a question? Because somebody's got a question. Can you hear us, Jen? I don't see any expenses for FY22. I assume they must have spent money in FY22. Yeah, yeah, I need to fill that in. Or but, uh, but I, I, I didn't can, I can tell you what we uh, spent in 22. It was $1,914. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. 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 So Janet, I have on here that so far in 23, you've expended 410. Yes, okay. that's right. right. Okay. That's right. I mean, most of the biggest part of the budget is for mowing the trail at the meadow. And um, in, in a few years back, we spent almost $3,000 mowing it. It when when there was another mower. Now, uh, the current mower started at the beginning of the year at a hundred dollars per mow, and then it was a hundred and fifty. So uh, that's really what accounts for the bulk of the budget, and you know, we need to be prepared <laughs> for. Um, changes in mowing prices and so forth. Yeah, watching how quickly they do that mowing and how they spend five minutes doing it. Yeah, really, right. Um, I mean, it used to be mowed by Jack Blackhead for nothing. Right. Um, but you know, the town didn't like that for, you know, and we want to pay for it and pay for, you know, you can negotiate a, a cheaper mowing, Phil, please be my guest. I've been trying to get him to, to start doing it again every year. He just, he just, he got a new mower. He doesn't want to do that anymore. He got an electric riding mower now. Well, then they can't claim gas prices. Are, are right, right. 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 Well, that's the situation. You know, it way back there was one mowing contract for all the towns, you know, mowing like this. And Ron, and then we paid like even more. I mean, it was a different guy and we paid a lot more. So anyway, Ron split it up so this comes directly out of our budget and we have a little more flexibility um that's all i know bill we just we'll give you a liability waiver and you go run around on a little electric mower and we'll be good <laughs> no i mean they all the, you know we the, we did start paying you know the open space committee started paying for mowing but we did just starting last year 
we no longer have to pay for the grammar school to get mowed. Frontier now pays for that. Oh well. <laughs> so okay. we pay seventeen percent of that, but we don't. We don't. Uh -huh. Better than one hundred percent. So when people complain about the mowing costs, we can say you're only paying seventeen. That's some percentage of everybody else. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, see, we've always been paying 70%. We've always been paying 70% for everybody else's, but now finally. Then we're getting something back out of Yeah, because we pay for where, if there's a sports team that practices on the field, we mow that field, mm -hmm. Frontier does. Mm -hmm. And they practice at Deerfield Elementary, they practice at Sunderland yeah. Elementary, yeah. and they practice in Waitley, at Hurley Field, and at Waitley up. Mm -hmm. We're the only, and they won't come up. I, I made, I, I made school committee voted to make the sports teams come up and put and practice here. And they had a rebellion amongst the parents. They didn't want to drive too far. All the boonies. Um, but they still, they still, uh, and the, the 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 compromise was all right. Frontier will pay for the money. That's something out of it. Yeah, yeah. And it took me ten years. Any more questions? No, I don't think so. Well, nice, nice level budget, Janet. Thank you. Nice, nice level budget. Yeah, I mean, and we, you know, the 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 system now it gives us the flexibility, like to mow only when it's needed, as opposed to, you know, a contract where they come in and mow when there's no no grass when there's a drought. So right, right. You know, so you know, hopefully, maybe we won't spend it all again. You, you do a lot for that money, though. You you do a lot. Yeah, like you got a lot to show for that little bit of a budget that you have. You really do. Oh, thank you, thank you. We try to, you know, we treat a cheaper like we treat. It's our own money. Yeah. Not buy a good. Oh, you don't want to go. Yeah, I would. All right. So All we're, right. we're yes, good. We we're can good. let yeah. Jan yeah, get yeah, back to her evening. Thank you, Jan. Thanks, Jan. We hope no, so, too. Yeah. We don't yeah. even know. At least we know, yeah. at least we know that you were. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It should be fine next week. Yeah. Okay. And I think you were the only one because you're the only, only one who popped up in my email that you would join. So that's why I, yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for looking at it. Thanks for listening. Okay. Okay. Thanks, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. All right. Yeah. Now I think about it. She was the only one who popped up in my email, so probably nobody else. Probably. All right. Conservation Commission is the next one, and that one's changed. Uh, by oh. <laughs> Um, where did that change? Oh, for the trainings. And it was because the three three new members they have and they only train, so that's why it's gone back. Yeah, it's the least we can do. No questions. <laughs> now, I should point out that the planning board has that they'll be next and they've made a request for stipends. And the other commission that I think does, is, you know, very hard work is the Conservation Commission. So I, I think we had to put it in our heads when we're talking about it. That I, no, I said that to them. I said, I said, it's nice that you say that. It's nice that you think that, but we don't really work that way. Okay. All right. Well, I mentioned it too. So, <laughs> okay. So then, um, Next one is, so I'm sorry, did anybody have any questions about the Comic-Con? Okay, so next one is Agricultural Commission. We do not have a working Agricultural Commission, however. They get a dollar anyway. That's what that's what I put in, so I just kept the whole in place. Yeah, okay. Keep them on the books. No, they don't, on they the don't books. spend it all in one place. Yep. Um, Zoning Board of Appeals, they also added in a line for training this year. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty negligible. So I think we decided 25 bucks per member just to get some. So when you threw in the last round, we're trying to participate in No, no, no. The zoning board expense tends to be more for any ads or anything that they have to do. So we, we're going to add in this training line. 
Okay. So it'd be a whole new line in their budget this year. <laughs> With CPAs, they sometimes, a lot of years, they don't even have to, they don't have a single. Right. But they last, last year, they did have a couple. Yeah, yeah and I haven't filled in the exchange before. I'm sorry. I, I went to CPA only this year. I didn't yeah. fill in for something this year. Any, any questions on that one? Okay. Next one is personnel. No change there because we do not have a personnel committee. Anybody listening to this, please, if it's interested, please let me know. So I stuck a dollar in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, right. So next on the list is going to be animal control officer. Yes. Now, I have not gotten the request, um, the assessment yet from them for next fiscal year. So I- It hasn't been voted by, per, by PERCA yet. Yeah. So, PERCA, no, it's the sheriff's office. By the sheriff's, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, I just assumed a 3% raise on last year's assessment. And we didn't pay that full amount, right? Because it was correct. prorated? We prorated it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's in our contract where it's going to be. No, it's it's not spelled out exactly the assessment. It was only for that year, and, but it's a three year contract, and because that has to change every year, depending. And you know, if somebody leaves, then our assessment might go up, and if somebody joins, our assessment might go down. So, um, I think Kyle should have it from the first. You know. Anyway, so that was just a placeholder until I get the amount from them. Let's know if it up. Absolutely. If it goes down, if it goes down, you don't let us know. Well, he was, he was <laughs> it ain't gonna go down though. He was saying they were expecting another talent joint, so it should go down. Yeah. So hopefully it will. Yes. Yes. Um tree warden. I actually suggested this that we add in 210 for advertising because we have not had to have any mm -hmm. hearings yet. That mm -hmm. would get us three. There's about 70 bucks for the posting. All right. So mm -hmm. I think it's the least we can do yeah. in that mm -hmm. budget. Actually, he's got to do, you know, whatever, you know, when he's got it print, it's not just posting it in the newspaper. We can do that in the town offices, though. I can cover that. cardboard it. stock that can mm -hmm. be stapled to a tree and withstand a rain or two and stuff like that. Get a laminate. I, mean, I don't know. And yeah, you have to, um, have to post the tree. Yeah, yeah. So that was my thought. We could always talk about adding more if you think, but I think most of the other expenses I can cover. But the town is so the tree working is a new person that can work in the kind of training. Yeah, sort of there, there is, yeah, there does tend to be training. Um, I, you know, I, I know, I know Walter's done some. I don't know, to be honest with you, what's required for the position, if anything. Mm -hmm. So it's training in order to be uh, compliant with the insurance purposes. I always thought Walter was very knowledgeable about trees. He spent his whole life working on them. I hope he, I hope he, raise one. I will look into that. There's a, an ATW training force for Massachusetts tree wardens for the association. Yep. You know, I know he gets some of those emails and that you too, yeah. actually, but I'm just not sure if it's required or not. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. What's the next one I have on here? Cemetery. Uh, I'm changing that request. And this is a new budget for those of you who were not aware of it just started in 2021. Opioid. I only put this in here as a placeholder and also just to be sure to let you all know a little bit about what's going on with those funds. I just found out myself that from the FERCOG that the expenditure of these funds requires town meeting vote. I have no clue. The way these funds come into us, they go right into the general fund. And the thing is, this is like payments that are going to be coming in over 16 decades. And so although our accountant had set up this account for us, I kind of talked him into having us create a stabilization fund instead. Because every year, if it just sticks in the general fund, it's going to close out to free cash. And then we have to figure out how to put it back in. Yeah. And I'm not going to be here for 16 years. And I want somebody coming along later to be able to have a nice, clear 
clean trail of what's coming and what's going out. Mm -hmm. So that was would be my recommendation is that we just what put that comes to us in the state from the there's like well, it comes from different directions. Yeah, there's like J and J. There's we've had I mean, I have two schedules already, and I think there's a third that's going to start coming to us. So we're getting these pots, and then one of them, I have a schedule that's out to like uh, 2037. Yeah. And then, but then this last year, we got five payments in one year, five years worth of, you know, so it's a little, and yeah. I just want to make it very clean for, and know exactly how much money. So we're already going to have to, if we create this article for annual town meeting, we're going to have to put something on there that says we got to take last year's free cash, what came in, and put that in. And do we know how much that is? To save it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can find that. And it's not a huge amount, thank goodness, but but it's just something to be aware of and just make sure so that everything's clean. And mm -hmm. so, do we have to report to the state every year? I don't remember any reporting requirements, to be honest, mm -hmm. but the FERCOG did say that it was. Um, town meeting required. And I don't know if at this point, if you wanted to, because we were going to talk about the regionalization effort, if you wanted to. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't like that word, regionalization, it's never, but uh, the, um, so, you know, the, the, there's certain categories of expenses that were or items or whatever that are, you know, Narcan, like mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Uh, and our ambulance has it and our police have it, but uh, one of the things that is going on now in the green, like public restrooms are where people overdose sat. Mm -hmm. And um library doesn't have one. It's in our can we this building should have it. Um mm -hmm. and the other thing that is also in that can is the automatic defibrillator or whatever the EDT things. Mm -hmm. And we we talked about wanting one for this building. It would be very appropriate. Actually, once it's filled up with people, and there's more than whatever, there's if a, if a certain number of people work in the building, then you have to have one by state, correct? Mm -hmm. And if they're all elderly, they can upstairs. Then they should really then probably we we would need two of them. Yeah. In case we're using one, you might you never you might um, but but um. And then there was a category, you know, the per per cog, there was a couple of other recommendations from FERCOG about other uh, things that we could participate in with them, but a lot of them seem to be written by Greenfield and would benefit Greenfield with our money, but that's okay, maybe not. Um, and the Board of Health did attend that that meeting that I um, I went to as well, and so um, we've invited them next week. To see what their thoughts are on how to spend the money as well. That's what seventy something thousand. Seventy three six, but that's over like right sixteen years or something. So. And then we just got something that we have to apply for. Um, you don't get it unless you apply for. It. Oh, that's which right. Is, yeah, which right. is like sending in a letter. Or something. Yeah. But, yeah. Wow. And that, you know, the current governor, that was what she did. That was her, that was her thing as attorney general, was filing all these lawsuits against everybody. Good for Conway. Uh, you know, we've been, we've been happy to see some of those pharmaceutical executives in handcuffs. Yeah, so there's a building here. It's like the training too. We have to train. Do we have a program to train people? Yeah, they did talk about program. training. Um, and I'm, I meant to talk to the chief about this too. But my understanding is that the police and people who have that kind of interaction on a fairly regular basis are already being trained, and we already have Narcan in yeah. um, the cruiser, and you know, so Can they become trainers. I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's talk to the new chief. <laughs> the new Narcan, though, is not even the is the even easier. To, even, yeah, even easier to use, and um, it requires less, much less training than before. Well, one of the things they talked about, correct me if I'm wrong, was like a kiosk of Narcan on corners, which you know, again, in Greenfield would be 
So if it was like, it was right outside, like so you see somebody having a, an episode, you can put the Narcan in there. But that, and that's one of the things that people say, when people say that, oh, it's not in Conway. It's in Conway. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like opioid yeah. is everywhere. And um, our own annual statistics are every year there's between one and four ambulance trips mm -hmm. for overdoses mm -hmm. in Conway. Mm -hmm. And there's, I know of so two. generally it's somebody small, right? I, As opposed to a public. I imagine so, yes. yes. Uh, but I know I know the couple household I know the couple household is down there. It's an issue. Any, any other questions on the opioid? Uh, just one more. Um, so we could conceivably spend the funds. We're going to be getting them for some unspecified length of time. So every year they'll trickle in. And so the idea is at some point to find a way to spend them in a trickle going out um, as opposed to large lump sums. Well, that's why, again, the stabilization, because we can bank it for a while and right. If right. everybody agrees on, or town meeting agrees on what it is they think is the best mm -hmm. use of it, whether it's through a regionalization effort with the FERPOG or whether it's a program in Conway alone. It, it'd be better just to bank some of the funds so you had yeah so we have no idea what what like what what the maximum amount of response is going to be oh yeah no after the set it's going to be seventy three thousand six hundred okay that's it. so it's okay. Okay. well except for this other one that might come yeah. in so you know but over the course of 16 years yeah yes. gotcha. okay yeah right. yeah so. okay so next one council on aging level funded yeah. I like this part of the budget season. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the little easy ones. <laughs> um when you when you see what our neighboring towns are spending on their council aging, six figures. Mm -hmm. And we're spending a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I thought the real estate wind up happening because the population is bigger or oh, they are more, we are more healthy. Well, what is it? Well, we're getting older than one in the American Central. So that might change. Mm -hmm. So in American, yeah, since 2020, we're sort of our town is 65 years old. Yep. Yeah. But to answer your question, like, well, part of it is that we don't have our own senior center. Those are expensive buildings. Yeah. Deerfield has one that's expensive. Shelburne has one that a few towns split the cost of. Yeah. And if we were the way that they do it, and got, you know, um, that, like, I got in trouble with this because I wanted them to do more. And I didn't understand exactly what they do and how they do it. But the way that they do it is they they use those buildings and those services, but the way that we're situated and because we're not actual members, it's it's kind of like a mutual aid thing for the fire department. Like you can you use it, but we don't have to pay them lots of money. Um, and and so there are some of our seniors do go down to the Deerfield thing. They they get there's five seniors from Conway that get meals there. Five days a week. Um, and then there's more than there's like 10 or 15 that go to Shelburne um, Senior Center. I'm um, doing a volunteer in Life Path and delivering a workshop about health uh, services. And I'm doing it in English and also in Spanish. And I visit a Julio and they have an amazing uh, senior center. And I said, okay, what about Conway? <laughs> and I'm dreaming because when wherever I go, I said, what about home? Well, <laughs> and when I was in Europe also, I see um, art everywhere. And I see, uh, do we have some statues, some sculptures somewhere at the entrance of the, the school, maybe yeah. two millions? 
Oh, I'm dreaming to see more things here. The piano. What it takes you're is, the last. you have the dream. Now, now it takes some, someone just like you to start making it happen. That's yeah. that's the next step. Because, like it's, because uh, what I see in Julio, I, I that make me curiosity to go and visit other uh, senior center because at some point, uh, we need to stay more in contact and doing a good, I don't know, workshop and, and people more communicated and not just all people, all ages going there, but the, but the building is amazing. It's very nice. Greenfield's building is the John Don. Senior Center is really nice too. I think we can do some, yes, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just want to share a story about, um, you know, there's somebody in town, her husband passed away and she's kind of, there's nobody paying the bills or this and the other thing. And I was talking with Barb and we thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if there was even just, because I think this community takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. pretty well and just like an outreach so people can get together you know you lost your husband your wife how do you do this because this one did that mm -hmm. and I was actually talking to Pat Lynch today and she got me in touch with somebody who's somewhat retired and is going to call me on Wednesday to maybe talk about setting up just one more thing to connect mm -hmm. people you know and, you know, she's like, I have to go to the dump now. What's the dump like? Um, <laughs> it's so yeah. fun. Yeah. It's the dump. <laughs> but, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's but I mean, you, little things maybe you don't think about right. Right. when you've been married for 60 years and now Absolutely. that wasn't part of your thing. But I, it's, you know, that just yeah. has come up this week. And, and here's one more thing. And I, I think I agree with you. I think it would be nice to get more stuff together. Uh, one more thing. I I have a meeting last Sunday with a friend who is a widow, as she is a little older, and she's fun, she's amazing. And but when she became widow, widow was she had a problem like in value in that situation, but now she's fine. And she said, Malicha. I don't want to be there are days that I'm bored. <laughs> it's killing me. And I, um, and I said, we can do this and that. But I, I am thinking if somebody in the home has that feeling, if there is a community or senior center, there are all kinds of things to do. Well, that could be part of what I talk to this person about. You know, maybe getting a system of just phone calls or going to each other's home and stuff like that. So it just kind of piggybacks on what you were saying. So I just, yes. it's something I'll be talking to somebody about Wednesday. And I'll bring up if you have any other suggestions. You know, okay. <laughs> then you email me. And and we used to have all those things. We used to have our own youth center. We used to have a YMCA. We used to have um, all, you know, our own band center, whatever, like a mu music room um, in, in all different places. And, and Julio, uh, the building um, gave out room for YMCA in the senior center. And it was great. I didn't thought that, but they have a big, a big space. It's like a, allowing a YMCA here mm -hmm. to put some machine yeah. and some trainer. And especially now with obesity, so a pandemic and could be a program. Yeah. Yeah. Very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, our consider uh, like the time return putting Question of calling to the town and terms of services that maybe people would like to see them offer. Sure. Something that I do. Sure. Get a survey of what people want. 
Sure, maybe maybe you can chat with them about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and like I say, you know, this other person is calling me Wednesday morning mm -hmm. to ask. So I mean, I'm serious. Okay. You know, email me some stuff okay. tomorrow or whatever, and I can bring the stuff up. Thank you. To try to, you know, my grandmother was 103. I took care of her for 20 years. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> People from town. <laughs> okay. Uh, so next one, almost done here, is the library. I know there's been questions over the years about why can't we give more to the library. Because Marshall Field. From the grave forbids us. Well, sure, part of it reason. is well, that's part of it is that if once we give more, we can never go down. Mm -hmm. So, so this is what they um, have just sent to me as this satisfies all the requirements, and that's all. Mm -hmm. I, tell, I tell our neighboring towns that we only spend two thousand dollars a year in our library. I can't believe it. Yeah, everybody else is at eighty, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand. Yeah. But, um, it's also sad to see like a leaky roof in there and them not having the money to fix it right away because. I believe it's community preservation laws for the library, haven't we? I honestly don't know. Not, it's not, it's a it's not a town library. It is a complete and it's not part of the town. It's unusual for a non-town. Right. To the historical a, society's gotten some, the church has gotten some. So I don't I right. just don't know. But, uh, they're the only non-town entity that has a town line item as far as the town thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I assume we could check with friends at the library and see yeah. if they. Yeah. Okay. I would hope that they have. I feel like they voted on it. Yeah, because they got the, to fix up the, the downstairs. They got. Yeah, it was to do the conference room downstairs and redo the bathroom downstairs. I think that was a CJ. Okay, um, this one is level funded as well with our new Parks and Rec chair. Oh, I've got to change that. It's Parks and Recreation. Um, Jan. Uh, so, let's just call it the people of all the parks. <laughs> Department of Public Pickle. Any question on that one? Uh, and this that was started last year. There's some trails. Just I, I haven't checked to see if they've expended anything yet, but mostly it would be so they, they have spent it and they actually have done a lot. Um, and they have all these ideas to do more. And they're bringing all the grants their own themselves. Um, you know, when they expand it, according to Mike Schell, and it's like the term, they don't spend anything. And I hope we do something. I know they've been spending it on um, signs, the interpretive signs for the Pony and Forest for the school kids mm -hmm. through there and see what stuff is. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Moving on to the last one for this evening, which is the Historical Commission. And it's just another level funded request. Yeah, this is always the easier. The first one is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Knock them down. <laughs> no armored blood balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming up. <laughs> okay. Well, wait, before, before the finance, so yeah. um, the other item, we have another item for the finance, and that's just talk about the um, school, but the finance committee and school budget hearing dates and um, just calendar stuff and general, uh, general stuff. So um, the first, so I'm, I'm, I was informed 
that the four town finance committees are trying to get this frontier to sort of have an earlier or to get a draft or whatever. So um, I have some, uh, I have some things that we, I can shift. So, you know, I'm on, I've been on the frontier budget committee for 12 years, mm -hmm. chair of the um, the fr frontier is looking at uh, well, okay. So part part of the reason that it's it's really messed up this year because we got a new governor, mm -hmm. and instead of the governor normally by law has to have a budget by January thirty one, mm -hmm. because it's new governor they get an extra. It's not to, the deadline is March one. Wow. Okay. And so the gov when when the governor's budget is released, that's when the school knows what its revenue is mm -hmm. until March one. All that we know is what our expenses are. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that is a very incomplete picture of a budget. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, and, and I, 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 I know from your point of view, it's like it puts the finance committees in a bind because it's, it's too, way too compressed. Mm -hmm. the, the school committee is kind of freaking out like right. even more right. because. We gotta, we gotta we gotta make changes. Stuff. We gotta like change stuff up. And, yeah, right. Um, and it's really, really unfair. Um, so the the public budget meeting is gonna be Mar uh, March, yeah, March 7. And the the school committee budget meeting is March 8. So the school committee will be meeting twice in a row, but um, that's yeah, that that's sort of the day, March 7th at Frontier at the Library Media Center is the day for the finance committees mm -hmm. to have at it. Mm -hmm. um, and would the, scope, would the subcommittee though have any kind of preliminary budget draft before? I, we do. We and do, I, but we nice to see that because you know right the 27th, I think it's here too. Yeah, I mean, it's all because of here. And and that is that is absolute. So so what it's really meant so by law because we have uh, our our four town operating agreement says the school has to have their budget forty five days in the towns before right. the first town meeting. Right. So our drop dead date is March eleventh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the Boston has their field this year. Campus going forward to move there at least to the end of the year. Yeah, now they're now they're thinking about it. it, it um, but yeah, um, they, it's because they didn't they, they when they had theirs in June and they did it indoors. It was too hot. So, so we decided to do it. Let's do it in, in April. Um, um, but the, I can tell you that that the expense wise the. Um, the, the the first draft we came up with 3.91 total overall increase mm -hmm. of our 477,000 increase um and it up the 3.91 percent yeah okay. yeah um it'll probably be less than that um the 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 uh and, and it's all it's all late, you know. The this is just a two percent year for our unions. This is yeah. one of the, mm -hmm. the um, but still just two percent is 170,000 for teacher, mm -hmm. 15,000 for IAs, mm -hmm. you know, 20 whatever. The the what we got hammered on this year, and this is every year we get like something out of left field that just crushes us. This year it was the executive office of the governor's so the, Every year for the past 40 years, the reimbursement rates for disabled kids out of school placement, every year it's been an authorized 2% increase. Mm -hmm. This year, this obscure bureaucratic office, like deep in the bowels of the state house that you never ever heard of, said 14%. So that and 14% increase for the amount of fees that you have to pay for these out of district placements for special ed. And these can be half a million dollars per kid. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and 
So, so that is a hundred and twenty thousand dollar hit to our budget, which is that is one percent, mm -hmm. and that just that pretty much just blows the budget up, mm -hmm. and it's kind of it's deeply unfortunate. And we we written we tried to get our legislators to help, mm -hmm. and apparently they tried to help, but it was beyond. Was it formulated by Desi Sinatra? No, it's it's not even Desi. It's it's yeah, uh, the O O D, the O O D uh, Executive Office of yeah, it's not Desi. It's in the gov. It's in the executive branch. Um, Does it mean thirty eight this week get any market funds or not? No, it's not a government that our but. It only went to municipalities. Okay. The ESSER, we got they got all the ESSER stuff, and there still is ESSER money. Mm -hmm. um, but that that requires permission to spend. Mm -hmm. um, and but but they, the the other thing that we got hit with is, and, and this is something that I really thought about. Up until three years ago, we never got a water bill or a sewer bill from mm -hmm. and to me, like our operating agreement that was signed in 1958 between the four towns said, you, Conway, Sunderland, and Waitley, you pay for the building, the school to be built, mm -hmm. and Deerfield will never charge you anything. No taxes, no nothing. Mm -hmm. then, then along comes the South Deerfield Water Authority, mm -hmm. which is different than the town of Deerfield and was not party to our mm -hmm. contract. And they, you know, like three or four years ago, they showed up crying poverty, asking that uh, saying it was just ten thousand dollars, and that the the water use isn't metered. It's not even metered. It like and, and it come, um, and so so this year because they are broke, broker than broke, they have millions of dollars in debt. Um, um, they, they 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 increased our bill by twenty seven thousand, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden this oh can we just you know all of a sudden this please 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 stuff is going to like pay us you know and uh, yeah <laughs> nobody else wanted to sue them but me I thought that <laughs> I thought South Deerfield Water Authority sounds an awful lot like the town of Deerfield and sort of well didn't the town had to see you know all those you know responsibilities yes. to them right yeah. because it was prior set in the town mm -hmm. right right so you think that the liabilities would, would go along with the exact responsibility exactly that was my argument exactly yeah. Yeah. Right. we need you on school <laughs> <laughs> the other point is if you keep paying you are accepting and by the time right. it's not going right. to change. Yes. Because yes. Yeah. And every I, I scream. So the scream. South Therapy of Water Authority and Finding Power is one of They do. So there you go. They do. Yes. So the um, state could come in and force us to pay. Yes. And the other we got the increase in transportation is the, the mileage surplus, the, mm -hmm. yeah. the fuel surcharges, the mile. The amount that we're paying just every day for the three B and L, um, so just the so the water and the transportation that's sixty grand, mm -hmm. which is half of it. So that's um, the the only the only new anything, the only new anything that they're doing um, is a school adjustment counselor, and that is what because the two years. Not being in the building, every everybody is way behind everything. Mm -hmm. And we did it in Conway. Yeah, years. exactly. I mean, it's worked right. great. It's yeah. worked great. Um, so that's that's basically the, the nuts and the bolts of it. That um, we don't know what the assessments are, of course, for the fourth town, which is right. kind of mm -hmm. the key thing. Right. Uh, and we don't know what our revenue is completely. We have an educated guess, but um, mm -hmm. whatever. And the other thing that we're doing is best be totally appreciative because you can understand it. And one question you always have is every year is how much you spent on average students in one period. Yeah. Overall, it's not the economy, that's because you just 
Yeah, it's like 17 something. I know Jesse uses it. I think Jesse's a calculator. They do. They do. But it, is, it doesn't. Yeah. The, when I, 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 and I, I've seen that stuff already, and I, all I see is the number of districts that are spending over 30000 a year per student. And, you know, some of them were over 40000 per student. Mm -hmm. And we have to share our Chapter 70 with them about, you know, whatever. And yeah. They don't need it. Um, yeah. Um, well, they have new growth. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so that that's the so that's the frontier side of it. Yeah. But um, and the frontier budget is twelve and a half million. No, oh, which is which is yeah. 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 Um, so, so yeah, March seventh. Okay. They remember there. So the other part of that is the Conway Grammar School. Um, the, let's see. For that, we do know pretty much both sides of the equation. Mm -hmm. And for that, the way that, that, that I set that up is um, there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, so So, so far, the, our initial draft fiscal year 24 is an increase of 3.37% or 70,000 mm -hmm. for a total of 2,200,000. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 total budget, the total budget is almost 3 million. We're using 675 from the law and sons funding and the grants. But, and the, the main cost there, 25,000 for teachers, um, the big thing is once again, um, twenty one thousand for one teacher for sick pay buyback of month and year. So this one month this year. So this um, it's on the budget right now for twenty one thousand. But because it's a non recurring item, we could the, we could the school could pay for that twenty one thousand also out of revolving funds, which would drop the budget. Two point two two point three seven instead of three point three seven, mm -hmm. because there are pros and cons to spending your revolving fund down. Um, and the school committee as a whole was very ambivalent about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. The decision was made: we're going to wait for the public budget hearing for mm -hmm. the finance committee and the select board to come mm -hmm. and see what those two see what the finance committee and select board thought about it once it. The pros and cons were explained, and the school committee is just going to vote and go with the flow. Mm -hmm. is so, there, is there a suggested minimum to keep the law in time? That, uh, that um, the, I, I asked that, and Sally said we'd still. She, she said yes, and by paying that twenty one thousand, we would still have that. It would, it would still, it still have enough cushion that Desi wouldn't like scream. Okay. But, um, but still there. There's pros and cons to it. So that budget meeting is what's that date again? Frontier. It's the four, February. Is it the twenty second? I don't have it in front of me to be honest. I'm not sure you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is school in the library. Grammar school in the library there. But you know under. Every year, every year. Okay, you um, Tuesday, February sixteenth at six p.m. is well, the yeah, first reading of the. Yeah. February sixteenth. This, this is from Phil's email. Grammar this school budget it? Tuesday, February sixteenth at no, six p.m. in the library. Thursday. Thursday. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it says here Tuesday. So sorry, I don't know. <laughs> is it thir so it's Thursday. Thir Thursday is that the first reading. The, all, the so school it's Thursday the sixteenth. Yes, the school. The, I know the vote. The 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 school committee won't be voting on the budget to March sixteenth. To March sixteenth. Okay. So, so it's definitely Thursday because that one says Thursday. Yeah. Both the sixteenth. Thursday the sixteenth must be. Mm -hmm. Thursday the sixteenth of February, February yeah. and then is I think the it's, first reading, and, and I think it's Tuesday is, more, is the sixteenth of the next month. No, 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 because February has twenty eight days, so yeah, it's going to be the same. All right, 
Um, and that is at six o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, in the library. Thank you. But you know, that's it. I, I like every year. Every year, it's you, you guys go there and you're like, oh, the budget's already done. We have no chance of an input. So well, there's your input here. Well, when you dare to go to the third day, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And there's more school stuff too. There's the capital stuff too. Um, there's tennis courts, boiler, and roofs. And uh, the tennis court project is 290,000. Um, the Frontier is paying it with E&D and, and, uh, and 100,000 from the four towns. So our share of that is 17,000. And the school, committee has already filled out an application for CPA funds for that. And because it's four, it's four tennis courts, it really shouldn't be called a tennis court project. It should be called a pickleball court project mm -hmm. um, because the Deerfield pickleballers are like even more passionate about pickleball than the Conway pickleball. <laughs> There's like 300, the Deerfield people, I can't believe how popular pickleball is. It's like, like it's, it's taken over the world. Um, um, and that's going to be done winter of 2023. Yeah. Um, boil, boilers, 325,000. Uh, school choice money is being, is, uh, and future E&D, future school choice money. Um, the roof is millions of dollars. Yeah. And there, there's one part of it that needs to be done within the next year. That's um, that depends on whether we do it. The, it's one, there's a whole lot of variables, but basically, um, there's it, initially it's not going to be a request from for, for, for town money. The BAN proceeds, the uh, the ESSER funds and the yeah, um, and yeah, future e &D. Which raises questions about the stabilization fund, right? Which we have to have a, a town mark for. Yeah, for, that was what the table. It, it was, it, it, it got voted down because they asked a question I didn't know the answer to. And Darius, Darius's kidney. To we were, we were abandoned. That Darius had to take his kid to the emergency room. He yeah. couldn't make it. Um, it was badly yeah. worded. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was unfortunate. And they were five percent. That was oh, it's not about the content is that, but how, how do I? Is that just something that goes from automatically? No, no. Like the the fear, the fear that was brought up at town meeting that oh, you know, million. yeah, fifty million. The, the maximum that could be in the stabilization fund was just a couple hundred thousand by law. Yeah. It's it, it's not much. Um, it, so who came up with that language? The, the school lawyer. Oh. Well, that time I had the school attorney. Oh uh, yeah. my gosh, I gave him. So we were the test case. So well, we're going to put it on again. Yeah. yeah, we are. For annual, and we'll yeah. be the last ones then. Yeah. So the school attorney had the school attorney already be drafted. Yes, he's like, "Oh, you were right. You were right. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying." Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh God, God. is not why they charge the big bucks. I, I really like our school attorney, though. Him and his brother. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Trying I'm just. It just feels like you have a lot of. Well, you have more, much more information now at your fingertips. Yeah. And. You also have some numbers to throw people to say, look, there's some things. Yeah, I think that was mainly not having to get. I have, I have, a, I'll, say, I'll have this sent to you. We have a three page boiler engineer study. Uh, is the, from Dalton Bridge? No, this is from Hill Engineers in okay. Dalton, Mass. Um, and they gave a presentation. I thought the guy was great. Um, and, uh, but basically, the, the boilers are oh yes beyond past oh my gosh yeah. and it's 
Yeah, the boilers look like submarines. Yeah. They're enormous. And the, the room the is, pickleball the, the room is like one inch bigger than the boiler on all sides. Once you get the new boiler, you attempt to you put pickleball down the boiler. We're gonna replace those with some on-demand hot water system. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tag them on the wall. That way you get all that free yeah. floor space. <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely good. But Jimmy Carter, nobody will have my Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the wood fire one so we can take all the wood that Ron's getting. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 From um, so. <laughs> yep. Yep. But so the, it, in, in the, uh, in, in, there is a thing, there is a thing. There, there's going to be a warrant article, or no, that's just to the select board for permission to spend the hundred thousand as we need. That was yes, and they and it says you have forty five days from the date of right their committee vote to meet and consider the amendment. So this is one of the things that I wanted them to do because um, the the school can spend the E and D before the end of the fiscal year um, without requ requiring. Out, uh, uh, without permission, but since the school is going to um, um, to potentially the town meeting or it's requesting from the four towns monies, right. Right. I wanted to show that the school is paying for money themselves as well. That it's not just that it's not just a handout. It's whatever. So, so, so that doesn't come back to us. We don't pay them. I'm, I'm a little confused by that. I mean, no, the, the, I mean, they're, they're, we're still going to pay 17% of whatever the budget is, right? This is, right. We're paying our 17% by, with the CPA, though. Yeah. Right. So hopefully, which is all. But in the future rounds, you know, we might, they might come to the cost that the year. Team 38 could borrow money, right? Pay a portion of the debt service, right? Yes. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I'm thinking. Yes. Yeah. Anything that they take on, we're probably going to pay that percent. Yeah, the school committee can legally in oh. debt, can, can legally send out bond. And the process there is they send the same kind of notice to the select board saying, right. if you don't like it, you got 45 days to have a town meeting and cancel this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it might be a suggestion, maybe you're going to put an article in the uh, reporter. So we don't have certain factions of the main gear field people who management and then more professionals who will come in. They're gonna do that anyway. Yeah, celery, everything that we like. They're not gonna let a little thing like fax stop them. Mm -hmm. That's like I don't know. You, uh, Conway Finance Committee always like lifts the whole general. Well, we're the only one to approve the adjustment task for the new thing. We'll expect the revenue to be good. I think right there, we're going to have a meeting. Sunderland and Deerfield Finance Committees always have like a one or two that just you can't say anything to them. Like yeah. they, they, you're not going to change their mind no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, um, so, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So we did lobby for it here for Deerfield here for this considering moving their town meeting to maybe back in like 30 days or more. And then we're going to bring them in the If they do that soon enough, then we can stretch out the budget process too. And we don't have to want more it's, it's, it's a real problem for the budget mm -hmm. committee. Sure. Not, these, the school budget is massive, like 100 pages. Yeah. But, yeah. Is there anything else in this board? I think I'm not. All right. Yeah. All right. The other thing. Okay. Two other things. Number one, number one our superintendent is the lowest paid superintendent in the state. Like by a lot. By a lot. He doesn't have a PhD, doesn't go by academic theory. Um, there is, you know, there's, he, he's amazing. Yeah. Like, he's so good at his job. Every, he's he's the best at his job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He's he's got phone calls, emails, and letters from headhunters. He could triple his money mm -hmm. by driving 45 minutes each way. Mm -hmm. And but he's got his kids in Deerfield, he lives in Deerfield, his family's here. He, he, he likes his life right now. He doesn't. But part of that also is um you know. But the finance committees, they all the, the other towns, they they pressure him all the time to come there and answer their questions about mm -hmm. life. Um, the, the select boards as well, and a part of the, a part of like keeping him is like making sure that he doesn't have to go to ten extra meetings per month. Oh yeah, well, yes. and like there's, there's value in, in like, you know just yeah. so um, I I try to just really share that as much as I can to especially to the other towns uh, that just. Don't don't ask. Don't mm -hmm. ask. If, if you ask, we'll, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Just don't ask. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, yeah. But that's that was about it. So that was my when I when I heard that you guys were wanting extra extra attention. Not you, but the other the other finance when the finance committees wanted extra attention. I was just like. Well, the part was not as detailed as the budget, not necessarily the show for later or the great expectations. Because the finance piece would have to do the budget, you can see it and kind of input. Yeah. Yep. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. But I will make photocopies of this stuff and email to you Perfect. in the course of. Yeah. 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 It's really. All that, all that fun for volunteers. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Is there anything else with the Finance Committee? Oh, no. Yeah. I thought it was fun good tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else? I just not anticipated 40 yeah. hours. I think I don't officially. Yeah. The Finance Committee will take a motion for the time. Second. Yeah. Um, we in the new business we still had deal today. Yeah. That's the only one I think we didn't do. Yeah. Does anybody have three choices for your DLTA wish list? Well, there were 10 that came in, 10 that are listed on here. Four of them have two votes. I don't know if you want to go by. Those four and you know. That includes the one last time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever Chris wants. <laughs> well, actually, some of the ones that you all um, that you picked, I believe, were duplicated. Um, like you made so I think you were abandoned the distressed property, rural yes. policy, and then older services. Yes. Yeah. So those all had two. Right. The only other one that had two votes was the river corridor management, which actually I think is probably pretty important because I voted for it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <getting> punchy. <laughs> um, no, but that was also the planning commission. So, um. Uh, but since we are, it's it's the zoning, and since we already have a map of a quarter on there, we're one of the few towns that could actually, you know, yeah. pick that one. So it kind of makes sense. So what we're so to vote to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to pick your top three. Okay. They were supposed to be in. Well, it's okay if we do it tonight, but I can't really wake you later. Well, I'll tell her. Choose. Said, I work for whatever Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Well, can we throw River Quarter Management in there, though? Is yeah, it's the, the one I, I I know I did the community development, right? I believe that was one of them. Um, yeah, but I. And that one I wasn't like really. Oh, like, right. That was one. That's one right. You're right. Other. That was one, right. So I, I do think that the. Especially after talking with um, RGM, 
Yes. Yes. Talking to PJ. I think that's an important one. <laughs> so, so which <laughs> one? Which one did you need? Abandoned and distressed property inventory and action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's a really. She had kind of already written on that. And I think the assessors are as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, all their adult services. We just mentioned we only have right the smallest of budgets for. Yeah. I think that's very important. And then you pick the last one. One idea wasn't listed. I think that's a the rural policy plan implementation. That's right. Except then we don't have river corridor management. We could put that off for a year, but that's the third one that. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I also kind of feel like it's already like we're kind of like doing that already, which is like, I mean, which? just the rural policy. I mean, just like I feel like oh, already, uh -huh. you know, advocating for recognition. Yeah, and actually, like, just so you know, um, Sam is doing a lot with that as well. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty easy. Yeah. So I really don't have anything to do. Are, are we good if we did a, abandoned and distressed property inventory in action? Older adult services and river corridor management. That's on yes. good. One, two, three. Done. Yeah. Thank you. An administrator update. Uh, okay. So real quick, um, have posted the job for the. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even say it. Um, <laughs> the chief of police and MMA and and um, the chief is going to get me the uh, police association address for doing that tomorrow. Um, and then as far as an update on the public safety building, we did have a site visit um, uh, with the Conservation Commission just so they could put their eyes on it and see what we were talking about. Um, and then we had the public hearing um, two days later. And that I thought that went really well, but there is more information they need from us. So we'll be the continue the hearing until February 28th. So we'll, but that seems to be rolling along. So I fully expect an action public building this is meeting tomorrow. And we're going to discuss what happened. And I fully expect us to be um, coming to the select board with a request uh, under $30,000 for this design and engineer. So. And then once we get that, we're really truly hoping to have an estimate for how much it's going to cost to build it before town meeting. So, that'd be great. Yeah, but yeah, that's our that's our goal, or I should say that's what they told me my goal is. <laughs> um, I personally think I'm, I'm just amazed by how quickly this temporary bridge is being put up, um, and. I think it's very important to thank people who work really hard to make things like that happen. So I'm working with, I haven't heard back from DOT, but I'm hoping that they will agree to let us have, but I've also put out the words with uh, Senator Mark and Representative Clay. So we just have it, it would just be quick. It would just be like meeting up at the bridge, a little ribbon cutting, thank yous all around. And But I think they really deserve that. Especially the landowner that has- yeah, And Bill Burnett, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, everybody who-, who who had who had a hand in making this happen so quickly? Um, I did have a very very good chat with Carrie and Patrick about last year's MVP grant and kind of what went wrong, what we're going to do this time. I will put in an expression of interest. I hope it's due in early February, so I think I only have this week to get it done. But um, what in what we talked about was basically okay. We'll focus on getting the the data that we need from mapping um, from the hydraulic and hydrologic data from Pumpkin Hollow South River where it comes in. And actually, while we were on this Zoom, I showed her the story map that we have on the website that was put together, which was which was FERCOG, which is amazing. And I showed her like, you can slide back and forth and you can see the bridge on 116 or Main Street before and after Irene. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a stunning, you know, kind of, and she was like, she was like, you know, in five minutes, I've learned more about what you want to do with this project than I did from everything I read before. So I think it's really just a matter of how we present it. But and that's so the idea was we're going to get that data. We'll do a two-year project again, and we'll do that, get that data, 
and then we'll um, use that to decide what kind of projects make sense to do in town. We'll have a huge educational community component of that where we bring people in and explain what, what we found out and talk to them about how they want to proceed. So, so you're working on that. Um, and then I'm very interested in more long range projections for the town. Um, that we had one done in 2017, which is great, but you know it's now six years out, and I think it's time for us to get another five year. And so we participated in um, a couple of finance committee members, and I were on this webinar with the Division of Local Services, and they have this huge template already where you can put the data, but it just gives you all these different things that you can. If you shift this one thing, how does that make that work for your long-term planning and everything? And it's just, it's, it's going to be, I think, a lot of work to fill it out, but I think it could be a great tool. So we're going to work on that as well. And I think this is it. <laughs> Oh, I was going to tell you that I wiped all the machines. I found out that with Zoom, we were not getting automatic updates. And I thought maybe that's why it was crashing. Mm -hmm. So I redid all the machines. And of course, I still ended up having technological issues tonight. But I don't think it was the Zoom fault. It was a different <laughs> crash. It was the kind of crash that you would sprint across the street. So across the street for, yes. But so I'm really hoping that that actually, because it hasn't not known what crashed on us tonight. So now everything will be updated automatically. All right. So there was a thing in there for the Deerfield 350th anniversary of they've already called me twice looking for a commitment to march in their parade. June 16th or something. Yeah. They changed the date to June 17th. 17th, Saturday, June 17th. They're like really important to us that you come. You can't guilt us. In, you can't, you can't, like, you're not my mother. You don't get to guilt us into coming to dinner. But, Did they come to dinner? Uh, we're going to have a beer can at the end of the parade. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this uh, deer food or salad beer? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> what kind of beer? <laughs> yeah, no, they, they really, you came from us. We gave birth to you. You have to come to our. That's not the same weekend as the Green River Festival. I'm not sure this No, it's in, I, my kids just told me. That's the one where I got tickets. It's in June. Mm -hmm. Well, Trevor. Tra Tra Trevor and Carolyn have both called me already. We haven't gotten any great virus we see from you guys. No, but <laughs> it's mail. Yeah. 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 Do we need to talk about the virtual forest center stakeholder for for focus group? Um, well, if anybody wants to attend, it's it's uh, virtually February 27th at 7 p.m. Um I let forest and trails move about it. They're all they're all yeah, yeah, I let them know. Fisheries and wildlife. That's what I put that on my list. All right. All right. Next meeting, February 6, 2023, at 6 p.m. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody.